Hey everyone, if you've got an ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini Pro, or ATEM Mini Pro ISO, or Extreme, or any combination thereof, and you'd like to know how to switch your cameras automatically, just like what I'm doing right now, as you can see, it's hands-free, then I'm going to teach you how to do that using a macro with the ATEM Mini Pro software. It's very easy to do. Stick around. I am going to get right to it right now because there's no point in wasting anybody's time at this point. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your ATEM software control. Once you have your ATEM software control open, you're going to go to the top menus here and you're going to click macros at the top. So, or uh, shift command M. So the next thing you're going to do is if you open up and you're in the run position, you're going to go to the create button on the macros menu. You're going to click add. You're going to name this. I'm going to call this hard cut timed. And then you're going to press the record button. Now, what is a macro? Well, it's very simply defined as a group of actions that have been recorded to play back automatically those steps in which you want it to record. So now that we're in record mode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the program, which is in my case, it's on the bottom. It depends which position your switcher is in, up or down on the, um, the track bar or the slide bar. I call it a throttle personally because it's way more fun. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to click our first camera that we want it to start on. I'm going to do a timed at five seconds for the sake of this video, but you can actually time it out to whatever you want. So I've clicked my camera that I want to start with. Next at the top, you'll see in red, I can add a pause. I've typed in the time there for five seconds, add the pause. Next thing I'm going to do is go to the next camera that I want to record, and I'm going to click camera, which camera I wanted, this one in this case, and add pause again. Now, if you don't add the pauses, you're only going to get a single frame before it switches. So it's just, you're not going to see any switch. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to my third camera, and then I'm going to click add pause again. Now, in this case, like I said, I only made it five seconds for the sake of timing in the video so that you can see what it looks like when it's complete without having to wait forever for my cameras to switch. Now we've done all three cameras. I am not going to do the monitor because I don't want it to switch over to the monitor that uh, you're currently viewing because that just wouldn't make sense in this case. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stop the recording by pressing the record button again. And look, at I spelled it wrong. Hard sit time. But that's okay. Next, we're going to go over to the run position. Make sure this box is checked. It doesn't have to be. But if it's checked, you can just click it. If it's not checked, then you'll have to click the play button over here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try it out. So here we go. Let's press the button and see what happens. So it should time out at five seconds. This should be camera number one that we're seeing right now. And then it's over to camera number two over here. And in a couple of seconds, it will switch right over here to camera number three. And YouTube says you might like this video right here. So be, for, be sure to check that one out and don't forget to click that subscribe button right, it's over here. Thanks for watching.